Paper Whistle, the only podcast that talks about Genoa Cricket and Football Club in English. Powered by Genoani Sirasta, our guests every week will comment the game performances, players, ratings, tops and flops here at Triple Whistle. And welcome back to Triple Whistle. We are talking today about uh, uh, the game uh, that Genoa just played in uh, Napoli, lost unfortunately for 3-0. And uh, uh, about the fact that, uh, um, as of today, Genoa is relegated in Serie B. My name is Tobias Salvai. I'm speaking to you from Edinburgh in Scotland. And with me, I got Alex Pugno from London. Hi, Alex. How are you? Hi. Uh, all good. Just, just about. I survived. But um, we just... Um, yeah, we just need to see what happens next. But uh, obviously, the mood is a, is pretty low at the moment. Yes, indeed, it is. I don't know how's the weather up uh, down there, but uh, up here uh, we're having one of the worst uh, storms of the year, and it, everything is literally grey. Not just my mood. But uh, let's go with orders. So there's there's not a lot to say when something like this happens, but uh, certainly there's something to say. First of all, uh, talking a bit about the story of the game, uh, we 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 played uh, what on paper was uh, uh, an impossible game, in my opinion. Uh, Napoli is a way stronger side, and. Uh, uh, taken also the, the the tricky situation as Salernitana drew the day before against Tempoli, uh, we really needed to bring uh, a, a top performance uh, to beat Napoli. Uh, however, uh, after the first uh, 15-20 minutes, which I think we created a lot of chances and Genoa started the game with the right mentality and with the right commitment, uh, then uh, um, something happened uh, um, in the pitch and uh, uh, we completely disappeared. Um, I don't know really what happened, but I think that uh, as soon as Milan Badeli, which uh, uh, even though he's not, uh, surely not a champion, uh, he, um, he's really important for the economy of our game. Uh, as soon as he got injured, uh, we started to lose uh, the ball possession and uh, uh, the, the great chances created uh, by uh, Yeboa hitting uh, a crossbar and Portanova being, uh, uh, you know, basically alone in front of Ospina, the goalkeeper of Napoli, uh, got completely forgotten because we witnessed something that uh, uh, sadly and, uh, uh, you know, with a lot of regrets, we have to uh, admit that right now we are relegated. What are your thoughts of the game? Have you managed to see it properly? Have you have you had any sort of uh, you know hints in terms of uh, uh, the commitment of the players? Uh, I watched the game, um, and uh, it's exactly as you said. The first twenty minutes, we were all over the place. So I felt optimistic because they started the game very well. Uh, there was the usual gig and press and pressure all over the place, especially much. I think. Uh, attacking uh, the box uh, really so really really high and uh, yeah we managed to get a few chances hit the crossbar and uh, and then we had a big chance with Portanova well, I, I don't really know what he was doing because I don't know what they wanted to get uh, inside the goal with the ball because uh, try to get uh, yeah. try to shoot because it was to like shoot, uh, yeah, just two meters from from the goal line. I don't know where where, where it was going, but <laughs> never mind that. After twenty minutes, possibly Badeli Milan Badeli uh, makes the fact that he left made a difference. So I don't really know what, but after the twenty minutes, uh, we disappeared. And, uh, and Napoli was, uh, yeah, was just, was just, you know, the big team that they are. We, we couldn't, we couldn't do anything anymore. No. Also, they, they were moved uh, not really by any goals in terms of league, as uh, they are completely out of the title league. 
but um, it was the last game of uh, their captain, or as we should say, the ex-captain, Lorenzo Insigne, set to move to Canada. And uh, yeah, the atmosphere was really tense for that in a way that the stadium was completely full. And uh, sadly, I have to admit, uh, uh, we, we chickened out completely as a team, probably due to the atmosphere as well that was in the stadium. Um, I don't know what are your feelings, uh, not, not, not just about the game. I, I really want to forget this game as soon as possible. But um, we are having some uh, uh, issues. Uh, uh, personally, I am having some issues in relation to um, the sort of behavior that uh, the uh, Napoli fans uh, had uh, in our regards. Uh, not that they chanted or they did anything bad, but um, I was expecting a bit more of a of a friendly sort of uh, um, you know mood from them, uh, and instead, uh, unfortunately, we witnessed also some issues with uh, uh, some fans at the at the very very end of the game when uh, basically our fans were leaving, and apparently a Genoa uh, bus was uh, attacked and assaulted by some Napoli fans. Let's not comment that. That's not football. But um, that's just to explain that uh, uh, it wasn't uh, a friendly atmosphere. Yeah, I wanted to praise uh, the 1200, uh, yeah, 1200, 1300 uh, who traveled to uh, Naples from Genoa, not only from Genoa, from the UK, from New York. Uh, people flew over and they did, uh, they made, they did make an effort to be close to the team. And uh, as regards the atmosphere, obviously they were they were celebrating in senior and uh, and the the stadium was was packed and uh, they didn't really care about about uh, about anything really. There's no there's no uh, we are not friends or the ultra are not friends with uh, the Gen Ultra are not friends with uh, Napoli Ultra anymore so it's usually based on this uh, on this kind of relationship between ultra so um so once that was over they didn't really the rest of the supporters didn't really show any uh, sort any of empathy uh, yeah any sort of empathy uh, towards the to supporters but to be honest i don't really I don't really care. I don't really mind what I do. It's uh, it's their team and uh, and their business. Uh, fairly new team, by the way, because uh, Napoli went past a few years ago. So it's worth remembering it. Um, and um, and that's about that's about it. But uh, what that's I, the story what, of the game, I would say. Yeah, no, the, yeah. You, you, you did the right thing, remarking the fact that uh, they're a fairly new team, and uh, yeah, uh, there's nothing left for for what we used to be. Uh, I just want to mention uh, in my tops and flops of the game. Either though, I'm really struggling to find any tops. Uh, I really like the performance of uh, Amiri. Uh, Badeli was really essential and, uh, uh, and nothing else. I would say that uh, there's, there's really nothing positive happened in the pitch, um, unfortunately. But, um, as you mentioned, uh, uh, probably the only tops, uh, as it happened all the way throughout the seasons, are the fans. Uh, 1,200 people travelled to Napoli to to support the team and I, I, I was really um, emotional when towards the end of the game we could hear our fans singing and chanting uh, uh, songs to, to basically bring back Genoa to Serie A um, already uh, stuff that we were singing 15-20 years ago uh, I want to finish saying something because uh, uh, in these situations unfortunately there's not a lot to say but um, I don't know what's going to be the mood right now with uh, uh, the club board uh, uh, in terms of uh, going forward. Uh, at the end of the game, we heard uh, some sort of uh, uh, words from uh, Zangrillo, President Zangrillo, um, 
somewhat uh, attacking uh, or you know commenting uh, the um, the job that the club did uh, and uh, the words that some of the uh, directors said before the game. Uh, I don't care personally. I just want them to right now to sit down on the table, look into the eyes of each other, decide what way forward Genoa should go and start to act because uh, we have uh, to win uh, a championship next year. There's no, no other goals for us right now. We might do it, we might not, but uh, that's the goal we should be moved forward to. Uh, what do you think about that? Um, well, first of all, there's, uh, there's another game, the last game against Bologna, and I think it's important that we play it and we try our best to win it because uh, it's important to get um, third from the bottom as opposed to uh, second from the bottom because... You never know in Italian football what could happen. Absolutely, and, you're right. Uh, yeah, and sports, and what uh, Dan Grillo said uh, about sports, uh, I don't really know what to make of it. I, I just know the sports talk, apparently took me before the match, and, uh, and Dan Grillo probably wasn't happy about it because otherwise he wouldn't have, uh, he wouldn't have reacted that way after the match, dismissing, basically, dismissing um, what Spurs said about confirming blessing because the attitude of, uh, of Zangrilo was uh, we are all, uh, we all made mistakes, so uh, nobody is, is safe, so to speak, now. So, the, and, and, and then, obviously, it was being professional, but it was very... Um, very, I don't want to say forceful, but uh, very strict in his in, in his statement about uh, about everything and about the fact that the supporters are the the only not the only thing that Jenna has at the moment, but uh, that it feels so really sorry for the supporters because. Oh, uh, yeah. the, but uh, I would say we have a we have a bright future ahead. We just need to be patient. We just need to be on the side of the team, and uh, and help this team to to really go back to where we belong, which uh, is not definitely Serie B. Listen, Alex, thank you very much for this. Uh, I, as I said, there's not really much to say because uh, in these times, I I believe that silence is probably the best uh, medicine. Uh, we're going to talk again about uh, maybe uh, Bologna, uh, actually Genoa Bologna uh, next week. Um, I don't know if you have anything else to add, but uh, yes, I would say the pain is enough already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we just need to get through this, this pain and, uh, and then get on with it. As you said, trying our best to... Uh, be promoted next year. Uh, but As first thing first, say. let's try. Yeah, first thing first, let's try and beat Bologna. And there will be lots of supporters at the, sta- uh, the stadium. So we need to 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 get relegated with uh, dignity and with a win. Uh, that's the very least. Absolutely. Thank you very much. We'll, uh, right. we'll be in touch uh, next week again. Uh, Follow us on our social media platforms. Uh, we are also on Spotify and Spreaker. Uh, Forza Genoa, Alex. Uh, uh, this is not the end. It's just a new beginning. No, it's never the end. We are we are stuff of legend. So, Forza Genoa, come on. My name is Alex Pogno. And I approve this message. You've listened to Triple Whistle, the after-game podcast of Giovanni Siresta. See you next week.